What is going on guys? Welcome to day number three of our mixed bag grammar unit. Whoop whoop! Today we are looking at one of the most important lessons that you'll ever learn from me. And that is what a subject in a sentence is and what a predicate in a sentence is. So, let's get started. I want to read these right out of the book because I want to be sure that I have this completely correct for you guys. And then I'm going to show you the how to identify them through our two examples here. So, what is a subject? A subject includes all the words in the subject of a sentence. What is a subject? A subject is what the sentence is about. So let's start with that last part. A subject is what a sentence is about. And I don't want to just go off that. Me just telling you that out loud isn't really going to help you there. So when we get into our practice, you're going to see what I mean exactly. But again, think of this. A subject is what the sentence is about. Now next, a predicate. A predicate includes all the words that the sentence is referring to. So again, a predicate is what the subject is referring to. Now, usually the way it refers to it is through a verb, like John kicks the ball. What is being kicked? The ball. Uh, the lion roars. Let's see, no, I'll say this. The lion, the lion, the lion eats his lunch. What did the lion eat? His lunch. Lunch, specifically. What was eaten? Lunch. Spider-Man punched the bad guy. What did Spider-Man punch? A bad guy. The predicate, again, you see that, is what the verb is referring to. And again, that subject is what is going to be referring to that predicate. So let me show you some examples. Blue is going to be where the subject is. You'll see it underlined. And red is where the, uh, where the predicate is going to be. So let's start with number one. Josh loves football. Josh loves football. we got to think. What is our sentence about? Now, immediately, I feel like you have two answers in your head. Is it about football or is it about Josh? Well, guys, it's actually about Josh. Josh is the whole reason the sentence is being written. We're talking about Josh. Take away that. Loves football. That's a fragment. But if you take away the word football, you still have a chance to write a sentence. So Josh loves. Well, what, is, what does Josh love? That's incomplete as well, but you still have your subject left. Josh is your subject. Now let's go ahead and move on to number two. Football is a sport. Hope we know that. Uh, football is a sport. What is your sentence about? Well, even though football wasn't a subject here, football is at the beginning of the sentence here, and we want to be sure that we know it's a subject because here, football is a subject because it's at the beginning of the sentence. It's what the sentence is about. So again, the subject is what the sentence is about. What, what is taking the action in the sentence? Well, Josh, he's taking the action of loves. Football, there's no action here, but is taking the verb is. Look, football, Josh, what the sentence is about. Now let's get those predicates. Again, the predicate is what this subject here is going to be referring to. Now, here's the tricky part. The predicate is not the verb. So, loves, not the predicate. Is, not the predicate. But let's, let's go through this. Josh, okay, what is he doing? Well, he loves. What does he love? Football. Football is your predicate. Football is your predicate. And why? Because you're trying to think, okay, Josh, what action is he doing? What verb is being put with Josh? The word loves. You're almost there. Connect this. What does he love? The answer is football. So that is why football here is your predicate. Let's go to the football one. Now, football is a sport. Okay, well, football, as we know, is our subject, and our verb here is is. Well, football is. What is it? Ah, it's a sport. Sport is your predicate. Now, before I do a few more examples out loud, let me tell you now. A predicate in a subject is not the kind of word that has to be a certain word. For instance, football is not a subject here, but hey, it can be. It depends on where it is in the sentence. Same with Josh. Josh may not always be a subject. For instance, it, the sentence could say, um, Sparky, Josh's dog, loves Josh. Sparky is your subject now. Josh isn't anymore because Sparky is at the beginning of the sentence. So in other words, Shaggy and, let's see, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, Shaggy looked for clues. What is your subject? Well, what's the sentence about? Shaggy. Shaggy is what your sentence is about. It's at the beginning of the sentence, and that is the main thing that's taking an action. What is Shaggy doing? Well, he's looking, right? Looks is your verb. 
What is your predicate? Shaggy looks for clues. Shaggy looks for clues. Okay, well, we have Shaggy. He's our subject. What is his action? He's looking. But wait, one more step. What is he looking for? Clues. Shaggy looks for clues. So your predicate there is clues because Shaggy is going to be referring to clues through the verb looks. So Shaggy is your subject. Clues is your predicate. One more and then I'm out. Alabama football. Hmm, I gotta make a sense about that. I got one. Mac Jones threw the ball. Mac Jones threw the ball. Mac Jones is our quarterback. I gotta, I gotta get him in there. They played yesterday. Mac Jones threw the ball. What is your subject? What is the subject about? What is the sentence about, rather? What, think about that. I know. Mac Jones is at the very beginning of the sentence. Now, what was he doing? What action was he doing? It's an easy one because he actually was doing a sports action. He threw right now, one more step. What did he throw? What was thrown? The ball, the ball is your predicate. So subjects and predicates. Again, subject is what your sentence is about and predicate is what that subject is gonna be referring to through the verb. And also another way to say that is the predicate is what is gonna be receiving the action that this subject has. So again, going back to that, Josh, what action is receiving loves football? Football, what action or verb is receiving sport? Well, is, because football, what a sport? It is a sport. What, what, what is football? It's a sport. So that is subjects and predicates. This is the end of day three unit, or day three of our mixed bag unit. Hope we're having a great day out there, and I will see you guys in the next video.